just trying to charge up their luminescence using a bright light. They're actually bright enough for me to see with my naked eye, but the camera can't pick them up, so I'm trying to make them really bright for when I turn the light out. Right, you ready for this? Because it won't last for long. Here we go. Well, that's as good as it gets. They're actually fine for me, but the camera can't see it. Now that I've assembled all six, I guess I ought to do a summary. Simple summary, you get what you pay for. Remember, these were cheap. Um, they're cheap novelties, basically. The, the fact they're supposed to glow in the dark is the novelty value. They do assemble okay. Um, they went together okay. I did manage to break one piece, and that was on the last build on the Tyrannosaurus because the moulding was a little bit thicker and they didn't clip apart as easily, whereas the others came apart fairly easily. Assembling them in sequence using the numbers in the diagram worked. Had a bit of trouble with the Stegosaurus trying to remember the right sequence for getting the plates on the top. The Parasaurolophus. That's the best I can do, trying to remember the name. I think was the nicest one to make. Uh, technically, I guess the Tyrannosaurus was the easiest. It had the, less, the least number of parts. But there's a bit around the middle here that just didn't seem to line up properly. Um, none of them are good. None of them will be anatomically correct. The first one I made... Well, because it was the first one, I probably struggled a little bit. And got a little bit better with the second one. And... Um, did all right by the time we got to the third or fourth. So they were quicker as I got on. Would I recommend them? Only if it's a rainy day and you've got nothing else to do. I think the wooden ones that I usually assemble are better quality. Well, no doubt they are better quality. But these have novelty value in that they glow in the dark. Can't really show it on the camera because it just doesn't pick up the light well enough. But on a child's window ledge or dressing table or something like that, then they glow as much as any other fluorescent toy that you get. So they're okay. But they're cheap and you get what you pay for.